30 Great Falls Public School officials are working overtime, but it's not to get ready for the upcoming school year. They're trying to remedy an influx of concerns after letters were sent out by the IRS to past and present employees. MTN's Keely Van Mittendorp explains. It's the kind of letter that would make anyone stop in their tracks. When I opened it up, I had um, a little surprise. So this is the first one. This is the first page that came. Retired teacher Penny Cooper recently received a notice saying that she had collected unreported retirement benefits from Great Falls Public Schools in 2017 and now owed taxes back. Over an $8,000 proposed taxes due letter from the IRS. And Penny isn't alone. GFPS officials say they've had calls and visits from past and current employees who have also gotten letters since April. We did not know the extent of uh, these the letters and how many employees and who had received the letter. District officials made contact with the IRS that same month, but had no luck finding out which employees would receive the notices. We tried to contact the IRS to get that information, and the IRS was unable or unwilling to give us that information. GFPS officials were also directed by the agency to give people like Penny a letter disputing the proposed taxes that they could mail back to the IRS. Moore says the business office has given out around 600 of those dispute letters so far. They estimate around 2,000 people will receive letters claiming to owe taxes to the IRS. Penny is a former teacher with the district and says that she would have appreciated at least a heads up before getting her letter from the IRS. Moore says they did try to notify those affected by posting something on their district website this past spring, but he says no precautionary letter was mailed out. Again, we don't have information um, to notify these folks. We don't know who they are and to send a letter out to all current and past employees about something that we didn't have good information on doesn't make any sense. Penny doesn't have a computer and says she found out about the GFPS website posting when she went up to the district building with her letter. I was out of the loop until I tracked down what to do myself and I don't think that that's really fair. It wasn't until recently that the district found out more about those letters and who would receive them. I don't believe it was a malicious. It definitely was not a hack. It was a mistake made um, in a process that we have. The investigation is ongoing and the IRS has told MTN News they declined to comment, citing yeah, privacy violations. I, I would like to know what happened and where did my information go? Is it going someplace else besides the IRS? School officials say they will work to move forward after the investigation is complete. If we believe it's prudent to send every district employee a letter explaining this to them, we will. In Great Falls, Keely Van Bittendorf, MTN News. Now, if you've received a letter from the IRS, you can contact the Great Falls Public Schools Payroll Office. That information can be found on our website.